Hey everyone, uh, gonna be behind the camera today. I'm gonna show off uh, my Hitchcock films. Gonna tell you a little bit about them. I probably have more Hitchcock films than this. Uh, I'll give you an idea of that. That's only. That's really it. I don't have many, but I am a big fan of Hitchcock. I figured I'd uh, say a few things about it. This is Rear Window, one of my favorite Hitchcock films. Just an absolute classic with uh, Jimmy Stewart, Grace Kelly. Uh, you're probably very familiar with Rear Window. It's definitely one of those ones that has become iconic. Everyone knows about it. It's up there with uh, It's a Wonderful Life, as in uh, uh, movies that have been parodied and redone in countless uh, TV shows. Like, I, I, you, you can't even count how many TV shows that have done a, a version of Real Window or It's a Wonderful Life. Yeah, great film. Love it. Uh, this one's probably one of the more recent ones. Uh, it's a 20 film set. Which, uh, the most noble films on here is, uh, let's see if you can read it anyway, but... Includes Sabotage, uh, The 39 Steps, which was the big gravity of my favorite film in this set, uh, The Lady Vanishes, and the original The Man Who Knew Too Much. Uh, I prefer the, I actually prefer the remake of The Man Who Knew Too Much, but The 39 Steps is great. I uh, love that film. It is in the Criterion Collection, but you know this this was only five bucks, and you get so many great uh, Hitchcock films in it. So I said, well, why not? Notorious. By the way, I don't have any uh, Criterion Hitchcock films, unfortunately. Notorious, one of my favorite Hitchcock films. I could say that about a lot of them, but this one's just such a masterpiece. Uh, so many great techniques by Hitchcock in it. One of my favorite is. Uh, there's a sequence where uh, Ingrid Bergman and Cary Grant are down in the basement searching through uh, all of... Oh, I can't even think of the guy's name. Uh, I can't believe the, the guy's name is escaping me right now. Uh, Claude Rains. I don't know how I forgot that. I've seen so many of his films. And yet the name escapes me for a brief moment. It ex they're searching through uh, Claude Rains' basement because, you know, he's a, a German and during World War Two, and basically uh, they have a whole bunch this is during a party and they have a whole bunch of champagne bottles uh, while this is going on and the closer they are to one or have none left then someone's going to go down in the basement and discover them and it's just so genius of Hitchcock to use champagne bottles as a uh, a mode of suspense for the film. I, I would, it's like only Hitchcock can do that. <laughs> the remake of The Man Who Knew Too Much. Love this film. Classic with uh, James Stewart and Doris Day. Got a lot of uh, comedy relief in it. Uh, let's see. Not much for special features, but that's really for most of them. Psycho. One of my a great classic Hitchcock film. This was actually like the first Hitchcock film I've ever seen. One of the first classic films I've ever seen. I remember actually seeing this at a young age uh, and actually being surprised by the uh, the ending. I'm not going to give anything away, but you know, Psycho is one that everyone is probably familiar with. About the uh, Janet Lee plays a woman who embezzles money from a, I think it's a real estate firm or whatever. And she goes on the run, and one of her stops is uh, at a hotel, which is run by Norman Bates and his mother. <laughs> and Anthony Perkins is just so perfect as Norman Bates. It, you, you have to see the movie if you haven't already. It's features one of the classic, uh, one of the most classic uh, montage sequences ever made in the uh, the shower scenes. I got this. Uh, a while back when Circus City was going out of business. And this was actually, I think, the last film that 
Soul Bass and Hitchcock did together uh, because Soul Bass took credit for the uh, the shower sequence. Uh, Soul Bass, if you don't know, is uh, a title designer, did the opening titles for a whole bunch of Hitchcock films, uh, and many films in general. And he took credit for the uh, the shower sequence when just about everyone else said it was Hitchcock. Vertigo. This is definitely my favorite Hitchcock film. It is, without a doubt, his masterpiece, the one I watch the most, the one I feel uh, most affected by after watching it. And it has just an absolute classic score by Bernard Herrmann. It's a great two disc uh, It features uh, an audio commentary with William Freak, and which I found kind of odd. <laughs> You know, I'm not complaining or anything like that, but I just found it odd that William Freakin, like someone who had nothing to do with this film, was doing an audio commentary. And the weird thing about William Freakin's with his audio commentaries, he pretty much just narrates the film. <laughs> I mean, he tells you what's going on and everything. It's like, yeah, I can see that. <laughs> he does that for all of his films, though. He did that with uh, The French Connection, The Exorcist, you know. It's like I can see what's going on. Uh, base, uh, the film is about Jimmy Stewart plays a detective <coughs> excuse me who uh, has a bad case of acrophobia uh, after he uh, feels responsible for the death of a policeman who falls off the, the roof of a building and he's hired by an old friend to uh, investigate a woman who he believes to be uh, the 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 man's husband excuse me the man's uh, wife who he believes she is uh, suicidal and I don't want to spoil it <laughs> it gets really good towards the end uh, this is just a classic it's one of the best films ever made in my opinion it's such a masterpiece in every aspect of the word there's so much to uh, to compliment and praise the film on the uh, the visual style is amazing uh, even Soul Bass, the opening titles, I, I really loved. So many great things to say about this film. Now here's my mega set. This is uh, the Alfred Hitchcock, the Signature Series. Not a great series, uh, but there's another box set that's out there that's pretty amazing. It includes... Uh, Strangers on a Train, Dalin for Murder, The Foreign Correspondent, uh, Suspicion, The Wrong Man, Stage Fright, I Confess, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, and North by Northwest. Uh, I'll only talk about two of these films. Um, I got this mainly for North by Northwest. It's one of my favorite Hitchcock films. I've, it's the one that gets the most watches. I got this back when this was out of print, and the only way you could get this, well, well uh, in stores, was in this mega set. I mean, you could obviously buy it online and stuff like that, but you could you couldn't buy this uh, individually. Of course, it's now available uh, since they re-released it. But this is actually a pretty decent set. I was kind of shocked by it. Because normally when a, a film is re-released, it's because the, the previous release wasn't any good or something like that. And it's widescreen. It actually has a documentary on the film. Uh, it has a audio commentary by Ernest Lehman. And Ernest Lehman is a pretty big uh, person in the screenwriting world. Wrote the screenplays to uh, such classics as... Sweet Smell Success, which I think is one of the better uh, film noirs ever made, uh, and The Sound of Music. But basically, Cary Grant is, and I think his best role ever is so perfect as uh, oh, Roger Thornhill, I couldn't think of his name for a minute, who is mistaken for a, uh, a government agent, of course, uh, and the a whole bunch of these agents uh, for I guess the Soviets wherever I forget uh, are after him and this is one of the I think the most classic example of a MacGuffin in a, a Hitchcock film 
it, it has a plot device towards the end that just kind of ties things together, but it doesn't really improve the film or anything like that, as in the, the microfilm. <laughs> a MacGuffin, in case you don't know, is a film, is a term that Hitchcock made up to describe something that's in the film sole, solely to move the plot along. And the other classic film that I really love. Of course, I like all these films, but the one I really like the most is North by Northwest and Strangers on a Train. Awesome, awesome, awesome film. It's, I think, the most representative of the film noir genre by uh, Hitchcock. This set's awesome because it includes two versions of the film. It has the final release with commentary by Peter Bogdanovich, uh, Joseph Stefano, so on, so on, so on a lot of people to give uh, commentaries. It also has the preview version which was uncovered in 1991 and theatrically re uh, issued in 1996. I've I think I might have seen both versions. I don't remember what the differences are but uh, basically it's about uh, what's the guy's name? I haven't watched this movie in a while but I, I always loved it. It's uh, a story about this one tennis player and a uh, a really psychopathic uh, man who get on the same train together and they plot uh, murders like to kill each other's uh, significant person in their life, like uh, to kill the the tennis player's wife and the other guy's father. But they don't agree on it. This the the psychopath guy. Uh, just kind of takes it upon himself to uh, to do it and to go go forward with it. Great film, love it. As you can tell, this set's not cheap. Well, that's pretty much all my Hitchcock films. I wouldn't be surprised if there's some others uh, scattered around the house because <laughs> uh, I I've seen every Hitchcock film pretty much. Uh, so don't ask me if I've seen uh, whatever Hitchcock film. There's lots of Hitchcock films I don't own that I have seen. Um, a few. I plan on picking up a Hitchcock Criterion. I don't have any, but that's why I don't have uh, Rebecca or Spellbound or anything like that. I know The Lady Vanishes and uh, 39 Steps would be some great options, but... Unfortunately, I already went ahead and got this set. I should just show you the insides for Uh, I don't know how many actually have booklets. Let me see. This one I know doesn't. Yep. I'm pretty sure Notorious does. Yep. Well, that was pretty much it. Uh, this is a response to Ryan Chataway's video. Uh, I'm a, also a huge Hitchcock fan. I just wanted to show some of the films I have and give some thoughts on it. Uh, I've been catching up on films recently. Uh, I'll probably do some, like, a video chronicling the, like, the John Ford films I have or the, uh, the Bergman films.